What's up everyone, welcome to a new Triple Trouble video. My name is Gijs and today I'm here with Steve and we're going to talk about Ramrod's stabilizers. So we have a couple of stabilizers that they have in the market. We have the standard one, we have the Ultra and the latest, the Matterhorn. And the Matterhorn is basically the stiffest one that they have at this moment. So we tested all of them um, and for both of us the Matterhorns uh, work the best. They have a larger outer diameter um, which results in a stiffer rod. So basically the Ultras and the Standards are in half an inch of thickness and these are 5 8 of a thickness yeah. in inches. Um, so we have a couple more things laying here around. Steve, what are these things? So when you buy a, a stabilizer like this one, like the Matterhorn, you get two different inserts, one with uh, three quarter of an inch and one with five sixteenth of an inch. So you can choose which weight system that you want to put on or if you have, still have weights at home then you can put them on. In the rods are um, some rubber grains that help you um, damp the first real shock of the shot. You can buy an additional balance ring that you can put on the stabilizer wherever you want to. To be honest, I use so much weight that I cannot even feel the difference. But for people like guys who are using just a bit less weight, they can feel really the difference where the balance ring is. Yeah, it's really nice to fine tune your balance of the bow. Just as every stabilized system you buy, you can just buy single ounce uh, weights with them. You can also buy a stack of four ounce and they have a different version of it. And they call it the tungsten powder weights, which is basically just a stack of four ounces with tungsten powder inside, which also helps with dampening. And at last, they also have the tungsten weights, which are really small. They are just a tiny bit bigger than the single ounces, but the tungsten weight is four ounce and the normal weight is one ounce. So you can imagine if you have two or three of these on it, that will save you like this whole stack of weight. Yeah, so basically they um, inserted a lot of damping systems in only a rod and the weight. We don't have them here, but they also make 3D printed V-bars and extenders, which is really nice. Um, gives a nice detailed touch to your bow. As you can see, we have the Ultras here, which are mine, the golden ones. And I'm using at this moment on my main bow, the Matterhorns. But to be honest, I can use them both at the same time and the um, Ultras can have the same amount of weight that I use on my Matterhorns because the Ultras are really thin but they are still really, really stiff. So that's it for the products. Um, and we also have had some questions about uh, the Ramble stabilizers. Do they perform better in the wind than other stabilizers? I don't think they necessarily perform better than other stabilizers from this uh, diameter, but there are almost no stabilizers with this uh, thickness. So overall, I think they do. Um, and also I think that thin stabilizers really are the future in stabilized systems. So next question, um, what do they feel like to shoot? For me, they feel really good. I use the metal ones on my main boat, as I explained already, but the stabilizer is just stiff enough that I don't feel anything after my shot. Yeah, I remember from the first time I shot with the stabilizers, I shot with the Ultra from Steve, I think. Yeah. And I really noticed that um, when you shoot it, it feels like it's just one piece. There's barely vibrations after the shot. Um, yeah, and I, it feels really stiff. And I'm really confident with them. The third question and last question. Do you have any tips for selecting a stabilizer? When you start selecting a stabilizer, it's very important that you know how much weight that you want to put on and how much the drawing length and the draw weight of your bow is and how much that you want to increase the draw weight. So if you start shooting and you're only shooting like 26 pounds, then it's not necessary to shoot a Matterhorn. But if you are becoming better and um, getting a higher poundage over the years and you want to increase the volume of that, then you can better start with a kind of too stiff stabilizer that you can build your way up then have a stabilizer that is too weak and you don't feel confident with. So that really is it. Um, I think we're going to shoot some. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. So 
So, thanks for watching. Make sure to get your hands on one of the Ramrod stabilizers. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. See ya. Stabilizers. <laughs> <laughs> Different products. Um.